Energy consumption related to housing is responsible for approximately 30% of Sweden's carbon footprint. Energy efficiency, transition to renewable energy, new design and building standards, and awareness raising are examples of how Swedish municipalities work to reduce the housing sector's impact on the climate. Gothenburg, Sweden's second largest city, has been a pioneer in the development of passive houses. The first passive houses in the country were built in Lindås, just south of Gothenburg. Hamnhuset, with its 115 apartments, heated almost exclusively using surplus heat from electric equipment and the residents' own bodies, as well as from the sun, is one way forward in terms of innovative housing construction. Moreover, the Gothenburg region offers a wide range of key players within sustainable building, design and urban development, thereby taking on the role as a node for knowledge exchange and climate positive actions. The city of Stockholm, with its projects in large urban regeneration, as well as new development, is leading the way towards a low-carbon city. Stockholm Royal Seaport, which is expected to be fully developed around 2025, with a total of 10,000 new flats and 30,000 new jobs, aims to reduce carbon dioxide emissions to less than 1.5 tons per person by 2020. The area will be a fossil fuel-free city district by 2030. The refurbishment of older residential areas is equally as important as new developments. In Europe, one-third of the building stock is from the 1960s or 1970s, with poor energy standards and an urgent need of refurbishment. The project Sustainable Järva is an investment in ecological, social and economic development of a suburban district from this period. It is estimated that the refurbishment methods will reduce annual energy consumption by more than 50% methods with potential for worldwide replication.